Hi, in the modern era of diesel engine development, there's one topic, one word, which has probably created more confusion in the minds of trucking men and women around the globe than any other. And unless I've been missing something, that word is simply emissions. Yet the long road to cleaner engines with massively reduced amounts of harmful exhaust emissions has also come with enormous impacts on the cost and complexity of the modern heavy duty diesel engine. Still, we should take our hats off to the world's experts in diesel engine technology, because while it's one thing for government regulators to implement new laws for a cleaner environment, it's something altogether different to develop systems capable of achieving those new laws while still maintaining the efficiency, performance and reliability that all truck operators need and demand. That said though, emissions technology has also become more contentious, particularly with different engine makers pushing their own technological barrow, some initially preferring an EGR emission system, others more intent on pursuing the SCR path. But for most laymen, or the average man or woman driving a truck, EGR and SCR could well be terms from another galaxy. So, in very simple terms, what do they mean? Well, EGR stands for exhaust gas recirculation, which means a portion of the exhaust gas is fed back into the engine's combustion chamber to dilute the combustion ingredients just enough for the engine to comply with a country's emissions regulation. On the other hand, SCR stands for Selective Catalytic Reduction and treats harmful emissions in the exhaust system using a catalytic converter and the injection of a reduction agent such as liquid urea, which nowadays is better known as AdBlue. As a basic guide, EGR treats some emissions in the combustion chamber, whereas SCR treats them downstream of the engine, in the exhaust system. Each system has its own unique advantages and likewise its disadvantages. However, for Australia's current emissions regulation known as ADR 8003, there's a third and undeniably simpler option. On models powered by its C15 engine, CAT Trucks is able to meet the current emission standard without EGR or SCR, instead using a pair of diesel particulate filters mounted horizontally between the chassis rails. Unfortunately though, that luxury won't last forever. As sure as the sun coming up tomorrow, Australia's next round of emissions regulations will be even tougher than today, and according to most experts, within the next five years or so, diesel engines in this country will need a combination of all three technologies, EGR, SCR, and particulate filters. But then, that's the price of progress.